hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel i'm g made nails on instagram i am a austin texas nail tech and i just come on youtube to show you guys the sets that i'm be doing and hopefully some of you guys can learn um from watching me so for today's video i'm gonna be doing a hand painted french yes hand painted um i love doing hand painted frenches because if you've done a French all acrylic, um, that takes forever. But doing a hand painted French and having similar to the same outcome is like so much faster and it's still as cute in my opinion. So um, right now I'm working with a, well first I already sanded down um, the nail using a coarse sanding band i got my coarse sanding bands from my local um, nail supply store i'm sure you can find them on amazon and if i can find you guys the same ones that i use i will link them down in the description box below so i already sanded down her hands and um now i'm just going in with my cuticle bit to um, push back her cuticles or to get that extra skin length on the nail see if you have lifting um from your sets um, and you don't do this step, that's probably why. Because even if you used your sanding band to, um, to sand down the nails, sometimes there is still some um, leftover um, cuticle skin still on the nail bed itself. So sometimes it's good just to go in, um, do that extra step, just to go in with the, um, the cuticle bit, just to clean up all that extra skin, okay? And I got this drill bit from Amazon. Um, I believe it's the Marquette or however you pronounce it drill bit and I will have a link down in the description box below okay and then I'm going in with my so I don't know what these drill bits are called y'all but I just know it's the um the circle the circle cuticle bit just to um remove the skin that I had lifted up okay and I got this one from my local nail supply store okay so Y'all know I'm using, I'm j I've am literally just been using these tips for the past couple sets that I've done. These are the C-Curve um, nail tips from Etsy. Um, I give these ones kind of like a 7 or 8 out of 10. The only thing that I don't like about them is their um, smile line. I feel like it's a little deep, but I mean, it's cool. Like, it gets the job done and all of, all of my sets come out very beautiful. Um... I've used some other C-Curve nail tips from Etsy that I liked more previously. And if I can find those, I will link those down as well as with these ones. But these ones are good too. The only thing is they're a little bit thinner, which I mean, I don't know if it has really made a difference in my sets. Maybe it has, maybe it hasn't. I'm not sure, but uh, they still come out beautiful regardless. Um, so yeah, I will have these linked down in the description box below, okay? And y'all like... Today was a good day. How was y'all's day? Would y'all say it's good? I hope so. Today was a good day for me. Y'all know I've been trying this little, uh, um, trying to eat different and stuff. And I actually have been very consistent. And I'm proud of myself. Like y'all don't, y'all don't know, but I used to go out to eat every single day. Um, if you're new, first of all, if you're new to my channel, um, you can check out my previous videos where I've been talking about a little bit about myself and, um, just what's been going on in my life and the things that i've been doing and eating and all of that stuff so if you're a little bit confused i understand but i just been talking about my eating habits and stuff that's been going on with me but as i started um eating differently like i i don't know if i noticed a change yet i definitely noticed a change in my skin on my face um i'm trying to do like overall like overall body like transformation and like y'all yeah, I'm, I'm i've been doing good because like i used to go out to eat every single day mind you i only ate um at least once a day like i i had to get try to at least get one meal in and that's very sad you know what i'm saying like the state of mind that i was in like i it wasn't allowing myself to have an appetite and i was not eating properly but now like um because my body, I had to go to the doctors, all that, all that good stuff. You know, I went to the doctors today, actually. And, like, they gave me back all of my blood work results and all that. And, guys, I'm doing way better. And um, But that's besides the point. I'm going all into detail. But, um, yeah, so I'm actually been being consistent and eating my fruits and veggies, y'all. Like, I'm proud of myself. 
because I don't know what day I'm on. I'm on, I don't know. I don't know what day I'm on, but I know I've been consistent and um, all that. So I'm really happy about that. And I hope like I'm going to try to do this whole month. Or I'm going to just, honestly, I'm not even going to put a time frame on it. I'm going to just take it day by day. Because as soon as I put a time frame on something, like, it, it just go left. <laughs> but, yes, you guys, like, um, like I've been... I've been making like a bunch of different, not a bunch of different stuff, honestly. None of, none of the stuff that I've been eating has like, I had to cook it, you know, like a lot of the stuff I've been eating is just fresh fruits and vegetables and, um, all of that good stuff. Like y'all, like, I'm doing good. Y'all should be proud of me because the way I was eating before was terrible and I actually can't eat those foods anymore. Like I legitimately can't. Um, that's what my doctor said, um, and I was talking to my mother and all of that, and she can't eat those foods anymore, so it makes sense. Like, I guess, you know, pass it down, whatever. But I legit, I can't eat fast food anymore because of the way my body reacts to it now, because uh, my pancreas was not giving, you know, it was not giving. But, um, so I can't, I can't eat fast food no more. Um, and I can't eat a lot of greasy foods anymore, which is fine because I was trying to say, trying to change my eating habits anyways. So that's fine. Like that. Um, I can't eat that, but yes, guys, like, um, so y'all, y'all pray for me and just, uh, just, just ask the Lord to guide me, please. But let me get back to this new video. So, um, there's not much that I'm doing in this video. It's another solid color set. So, um, I have a few of those on my channel. Um, I'm just showing you guys how I apply my, um, acrylic and stuff like that. You know, there's not much to it because like I said, it's just a solid color. So we're not doing anything extra. All the detail comes in when I'm painting the French. Okay. So yes, I won't have to talk too much during this video, but um, I hope you guys watch and learn a few things. But I noticed that I I do this and it's probably not good to my equipment. But um, y'all see how when I like pat the bottom of the nail tip, like I scoop it out with my nail brush. I mean, it depends on how y'all brushes is. Like I personally don't care about my brush because um, it's not like one of those pretty decorative brushes. And you can see like it's a little worn, a little worn down. But if you don't care about your brush and um you know what i'm saying and you want to take that extra acrylic off from under y'all see i just did it um you want to take the extra acrylic off from under the nail tip just use the tip of that brush girl and it comes right off like when it hardens it comes right off but i mean most people i'm most normal techs i'm sure give a care about their um nail brush but me i just be scooping it right out and i don't have to use my fingers they don't get stuck to my fingers and stuff like that normally i wear gloves and lately i haven't been wearing any gloves in my videos but that's because i've been working with a few familiar clients so it hasn't i haven't been that pressed to do that but um yeah but it will be a lot easier i'm sh i'm sure like if i had gloves on i wouldn't be um doing this but because i don't like i just been scooping it with my brush and it's i feel like it's become honestly like a bad habit like what if i had a cute brush and i just did that and i want to get a cute brush so i should just like break that habit right guys yeah let's all collectively agree that i should break the habit of using my brush to take the acrylic off okay um but honestly if you don't care about your brush like that's cool like you can do that
like those. like those.
like those. So you know I have to say it in every video, the drill that I'm using is a Marquette drill, um, portable drill from Amazon. I will have a link down in the description box. And um, I believe I got these, um, the metal drill bits from my local nail supply store. But I will have the same exact ones or similar linked in the description box below guys um i have a video on this um nail drill i've had this nail drill for about two to three years and um yes guys yeah, i'll go in detail on my video check the description box like those.
like those. like those.
okay guys we finna get into the nail painting i already lined one finger um my brushes that i use it came in a pack first of all please don't mind the paint all over myself literally when i start painting i turn into a literal child so um please don't mind the paint all over myself but the pack of brushes that i got were from amazon i will have them linked in the description box below and this this brush that i'm using to just um do the whole thing it's just a um a sephora makeup brush so i can't i really don't think that that's the proper brush that you should be using but it's the one that i use and it works good for me um so what i do for my french is that i take my brush look how much paint yo and that paint literally came from me mixing the colors like i didn't even start doing our nails yet but but all i do is just line my um my french you see i'm lining it right now and you see how my fingers are placed i use that to keep a steady hand um uh, i can't describe to you the position my fingers are in but y'all can see it i use that to keep a steady hand so my so my hands basically is not all over the place um shaking and all of that but um i line my um paint and yes i use paint i do not use um gel polish just because i haven't found a gel polish that i like yet um i haven't found one that's opaque enough that and also lays flat because you know when you're doing layers of gel it gets thick and i don't like that so um i use paint uh and it works pretty well for me and it dries down really fast but um after i line the french line um as you can see how my hand placement is to keep a steady hand um i'm just going to use that brush to fill in the gaps and that's literally all i do for my french um yeah guys and then i do about two to three layers depending on the op the oh what's the word oh pay oh piece i don't know depending on how solid the color is um she wanted um a different color french and it turned out super cute she wanted light pink nude hot pink and um some other color i can't remember but you guys are gonna see and you guys are gonna see the end result i thank you guys for tuning in um to my channel and um showing love and stuff in my comments um i really appreciate blah, blah, blah. i really appreciate seeing you guys' comments and all you guys' hard eyes and all of that it makes me happy and it makes me want to continue making videos because um, it shows that you guys are interacting and I love that. So I thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It helps me grow and like and comment. It helps with um, interactions and all of that. So yes, guys, you guys are going to see the end result of this. And I hope you guys, I hope this better helps you um, the hand position because it really helps me. I hope that better helps you um, keep a steady hand when doing your French because when you're just holding the finger by itself, like I feel like it's just too loose, too loosey goosey. So keep that finger on that finger or keep your finger on her finger to keep a steady hand. But yes, guys. Oh, and this is acrylic paint, by the way, um, from Hobby. I want to say Hobby Lobby or like Walmart or something. But yes, guys, I'll have it linked down in the description box below. And yes, have a good day. Have a good life. Make sure you pray to God. And you know what I'm saying? All of that. Bye, guys.
like those.